Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a what I eat in a day video. However, I'm going to be concentrating on fiber and protein consumption. Those are kind of two of the takeaways. Actually, I have several takeaways from having been on the keto diet. Um, I learned a lot. If you're new to my channel, I was on that diet for about a year and I've been off of it for about a month now. And so, but two things that I realized were really important, especially as an aging woman, is, is you know, our, protein and fiber consumption. As a matter of fact, you know, just in case you don't know how much fiber and protein we're supposed to be getting in a given day as a woman, um, women are supposed to get anywhere between 21 and 25 grams of fiber a day and anywhere between 50 and 60 grams of protein a day. Now those are obviously averages, you know, it kind of depends on your height and weight and activity level and all that, you know, good stuff. But, um, but those are the averages. And, um, but I did want to mention that I actually follow follow a woman on TikTok. She's a gynecologist. I'm going to link her in my description box. You will probably want to binge watch just all of her videos because they have to do with women who are perimenopausal or menopausal. That's her focus. And she was saying that if you change nothing else about your diet or eating style, if the only thing you change is that you increase your fiber intake, that you will definitely lose weight. And I thought that was really interesting and I have not put it to the test. I'm not trying to really lose weight, but I wanted to definitely pass that along. I did, however, do a quick little Google search and there are studies and stuff to support that. There was one study that said that if women eat anywhere upwards of 30 grams of fiber a day, that you know we'll lose weight and so anyway i thought that was interesting i know the holidays are coming up and you know we're probably all going to need to lose you know a few pounds after the holidays so i just thought that i would you know share that with you guys so anyway let's go ahead and jump in let me show you what i'm eating for lunch and dinner and yeah okay so this right here is what i'm having for lunch doesn't it look so delicious now i'm gonna go ahead and put somewhere here on the screen you know how much fiber and protein it contains because that's you know what i'm trying to focus on today so i did want to mention that i am using this keto bread even though i'm not on the keto diet i just fell in love with this particular bread not all the keto bread some of it is literally unedible but this was so delicious to me as a matter of fact it kind of reminds me of bread that you would get in like a high-end deli. It's just very dense and you know, it doesn't fall apart or anything like that. It's just so good. On top of it, it has eight grams of fiber per slice. So just in this sandwich alone, I've got 16 grams of fiber, which is just, you know, that's incredible. And, and it's so delicious. And it's also low fat. It, it only has, you know, two grams of fat per slice, which isn't bad. So then I have some smoked ham right there and I'm using the Mickleberry smoked ham from the deli. Then I have this 2% Monterey Jack cheese. I'm always trying to, you know, cut down on my fat consumption. Over here, I've got some broccoli sprouts. I literally go to a totally different grocery store just to get these broccoli sprouts because I love them so much. I love them in my salads and I love them, you know, on my sandwiches like this. So I have to go to my whole food store to get them. Then I've got some tomatoes. I've got some cucumbers. And then as far as dressings are concerned, I've got some Hellman's light mayonnaise because of course I want to cut down on fat consumption. And then I've got my Dijon mustard there. Then right here, I've got a honey crisp apple. If you have never tasted a honey crisp apple, you are really missing out. I will never eat any other apple now that I've um, been spoiled by eating a honey crisp apple. Each bite like bursts in your mouth. They are so good. It's making my mouth water right now. So that's what I have on the side there. So then right here, I have some yogurt. And I feel like every time I make one of these videos, I always have kind of a little DIY that I show you. And so today it's this one. This is yogurt. It's this yogurt right here. It's called Too Good. It's got two grams of sugar. It's got 13 grams of protein per three fourths of a cup. I think I've got at least a cup right there. So it's more than um, 13 grams of protein and it's very low in carbs and it's got 90 calories. Now, one thing about this is that it's, it's vanilla flavor, but it's not a strong vanilla. I want it to be a little bit more of a strong vanilla. So I bought this right here. You can get these in your coffee section. I've got, I've got it in vanilla and then I also have it in coconut. These are sugar free. I put one teaspoon in that amount of yogurt and it just really flavors it up. So it's more of a strong, you know, vanilla flavor and it's just delicious. So, so yeah, this is what I'm having for lunch today. It is delicious and nutritious 
and I will see you back here at dinner time. Okay, so this right here is what I'm having for dinner. Y'all, this meal is so delicious and so filling. You know, obviously it looks like a lot of food, I think. Anyway, um, what I have here is I've got some chicken breast. Now, I always grill my chicken breast on the barbecue pit, and this is what I use. I use frozen chicken. I buy a huge five pound bag. I will usually cook up several at a time and eat, you know, the leftovers, you know, for the next few days. I have no problem eating leftover chicken that's been grilled on the barbecue pit. So that is what I've done there. I also wanted to mention that I prefer the frozen chicken breast over the kind that you can buy that's like, you know, sliced in the in the meat section. I feel like it cooks better. It's just more moist. Everything about it is just better to me. And so that is what I've got there. Right here, I've got some turkey smoked sausage. Here is the package. I prefer the turkey because obviously it has less fat than the beef. Um, and so yeah, that's what I have right there. Now I do not cook that on the barbecue pit. I actually prefer to sear that in a pan because I like it to be really crispy on the outside, so that is what I've done there. Now right here, I've got corn on the cob, and corn on the cob is just kind of a filler food. You know, I like it. It doesn't have a lot of nutritional value. It does have some fiber. For me, it's just a, a filler food. I love the taste. I enjoy eating it, especially off the cob. I don't know why it makes me feel like such a caveman or something, but me and my daughter just really prefer the taste of it whenever you know it's corn on the cob um so that's what i have right there now on top i've got some of this it's just some i can't believe it's not butter and then i've got some pink himalayan salt this is something this is another takeaway from the keto apparently pink himalayan salt is just better for you than regular salt and so that is what i'm using so right here i have a salad i've got um some broccoli some romaine lettuce some cucumbers a little bit of purple cabbage now in order to cut down on the fat since dressing can be really fattening i mix these two this one right here only has three grams of fat per serving and this one has 11 grams of fat per serving i prefer the taste of this one now this is really good on its own also it's a yogurt dressing it's really good on its own but i prefer this bacon flavor and so when i mix them i'm able to cut down on the fat and it's still, it actually, this one has a very powerful taste to it. So it ends up just tasting like that to me. Um, so my taste buds are really easy to please though. So then right here, this is something that I cannot wait to eat. I made a huge pot of this yesterday. And I did want to mention that whenever I make a pot of beans, I will soak my beans for pretty much almost a whole day. Like the second I wake up in the morning, I will just pour them into a bowl, fill it with water so that they can start soaking so that, you know, I, I guess it like releases gases and stuff like that. I'm not exactly sure what it does, but all I know is that when I do that, I don't get the bloating, I don't get gas, nothing like that. It's why I love beans so much. So many people tell me that they have, you know, that they get bloating and gas and all this stuff, and I never do, and maybe it's because I soak them for so long. But this is what I use. I have a 15 bean soup. This actually comes with a little packet, like ham flavoring. Um, I use that. Then I also like to add some extra garbanzo beans. And then um, I really love lentils. Sometimes I will just make a big pot of lentils. Now, in order to flavor it, um, I usually just cut up a huge onion, sometimes an onion and a half, just depending on you know how big the batch is that I'm gonna be making. Um, to This time I used some turkey bacon. It really doesn't have a lot of flavor to it, I noticed. Um, typically I will use some regular bacon, but in order to cut out the fat, sometimes I will just use some turkey bacon and then add a ton of this bacon salt. My daughter actually prefers it this way. And this bacon salt is so good. I will put this just on my eggs in the morning. Like if I make a bowl of, you know, um, just a bowl of eggs, like scrambled eggs or something like that, I love to put some bacon salt on it and then like some cheese or something. But this stuff is so good. And so, yeah, I made a huge, huge pan and me and my family will eat off of it, you know, for three or four days. We just love it. It is such a comfort food for us. So anyway, um, yeah, this is what I'm having for dinner tonight. So that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for being here. I always appreciate your time. If I do not see you before Christmas, which 
I can't guarantee that I will because I have family coming to stay with me and I just get so busy and it's really awkward to try to break away from family to go, you know, make a video or something like that. So thank you for watching and I will see you soon.